Well, hello appliance dealers. Uh, today is the last day of 2020. <laughs> I'm sure all of us are saying thank goodness. Uh, I have been down in the warehouse for two and a half days working with Jason and I thought I'd share some of what's going on down here. So I'll start here, way back in the warehouse. We've got a few pieces already staged to go out uh, on Monday. Of course, waiting for a couple of trucks. The uh, CRD1812 refrigerators will arrive on Monday, hopefully if the truck doesn't break down again. Uh, most of those are sold, maybe 15 or 16 pieces left out of that truck. And a truckload of Whirlpool um, Crosley dryers, so the CED7006s. Those guys are all sold. Um, some CAW38125 washers, the stainless steel piece. I got a few of those left available and, and there are some odds and ends on there. But uh, we have started to get really packed in the warehouse. Um, Jason and I have been clearing space. This space right here is a godsend because if I got a truck in right now, that's about all I've got in terms of room to put it. Uh, and I'll show you a little later in this video how we created some of that room. But as you can see, um, our range inventory is spectacular. Um, given our history in 2020, we've got a lot of XB258s in white, uh, black, stainless. Um, we got uh, electric self-cleaning saran tops in the other day, the 625s, so plenty of those. Um, just stock to the gills, really, on ranges. Uh, it's been feast or famine, as you know. Uh, sitting here are a few of the WRT-134Ts, 15 cubic foot Whirlpool refrigerators that I managed to score the other day. Uh, these are all in white. Uh, I do have some black units as well. And as you all know, uh, they're a bit pricey for sure, but given I haven't seen a GE refrigerator or a GE built Crosley uh, in here in months and months... Uh, I've secured what I could where I could. So it's been the state of the industry, as you folks know. I'm trying to walk a little slower here through the warehouse. One of these videos I did, I think the first one, it would make you dizzy watching it. <laughs> uh, if I'd have known we were going to be so packed, I wouldn't have brought my boat down here, but it's here to stay. Uh, we have some French door bottom mounts here, ice and water, the XFE 26s. Still have a number of those available. They were extremely rare at one point. Caused me a lot of angst. Uh, over here, you can see we have stacked a whole bunch of black uh, refrigerators and white refrigerators. These are WRT541s. So those are 21 cubic foot Whirlpool built pieces. There is also, in this aisle, some Amana, uh, ARTs, 308s. Still have those in white, uh, and I have those in black. So still some, some decent inventory on refrigerators, which is amazing, um, given the, how many months we sold everything out that came in the door. Uh, I think I've mentioned before we are in really great shape in terms of Speed Queen uh, home style commercial laundry. I've got, oh gosh, at least 400 pairs, I would say, available for sale. And we added some gas dryers in, in our last truck. I uh, still have VAW 3584s in pretty good supply. Uh, dryers, as you know, have been a headache for really since April, May of last year. Um, but I do still have a little bit of VED 6505 conservators available. And as we walk through here, oh, these are, um, these we just got in. These are the Maytag commercial grade home units. I got uh, a dozen pairs, two dozen pair of those, I believe I brought in. Just something else to add to our bag of tricks here. All electric dryers, by the way, on those. I didn't uh, branch out into, into gas yet. 
Um, these are YTW 4514s in white. Professional style Crosley, top loading washers. Here's some stuff I got in uh, not too long ago. I think when Jason was on vacation, I was down here working. Uh, these are stack uh, commercial home style Speed Queen pieces. So uh, I've got those now in a uh, washer gas dryer combo, uh, washer electric dryer combo, and I brought in the stack dryer dryer, both in electric and gas. Not a ton of them, uh, a few of each, but very unique pieces and uh, always an opportunity to make a buck because it's pretty hard to find those kind of things uh, in someone's inventory. So oh, <clears throat> you've all seen this before as some of our front load pieces, nothing too terribly exciting. Uh, I did bring in uh, more of the commercial coin op product. I want to have good stock on that. The uh, top loads, SWN 22s and SDE 22 dryers. I think there's more to that serial number, but uh, it gets a little long. I also, um, down in this area, have temporarily stuck our Whirlpool commercial coin up. Um, that stuff, I think a dozen pairs I brought in. Uh, all electric dryers, once again, uh, those are kind of unique in that they have the coin shoe and the coin box installed in them. So there's nothing else to buy. I have plenty of dishwashers and plenty of 20 inch Danby ranges, both in white and black. And then I'm going to walk us up here and kind of give you a view of how we managed to create some space. As you all remember, I recall, you know, we were a plumbing and heating store at one point and uh, up here was really the the more consumer or contractor um, focused area, a lot of shelving and whatnot. We've just kind of stashed things here and there, uh, but now we've organized it. So I've got um, some water heaters up here. Actually, this whole stack of water heaters is owned by the local utility. Uh, I sell them a whole truckload in advance and we stock the inventory for them and they pull it as they need it. It's kind of a sweet deal. Uh, some more of the Danby ranges. 20 inch and some glorious empty space very much at a premium still have some of the uh, all refrigerator Danby's in stock I think those are 17 cubic foot looks like an 11 cubic foot there again niche product for sure there's my one keg rater <laughs> dual tap I've got more of those on order I don't sell many of those but real niche product so here's where we stuck all of our Crosley dishwashers and we are well inventoried on every single model I haven't been able to say that in a while the challenge with these has been that uh, they come from one factory uh, I can mix them with front-loading laundry but front-loading laundry GE hasn't been producing in white for us and I've had enough of the gray so the only way I could get these dishwashers is to order an entire truckload and that's like 229 units or something like that uh, so we'll have dishwashers in good plenty for quite some time and oh our Danby portables I've got Danby portable dishwashers 18s these all this stuff is on the uh, web order entry site but I've got them in white and I've got them in black I brought in a couple each, looks like four each of the Whirlpool full-size portable dishwashers. Uh, expensive as all get out, but uh, you know, when somebody wants it, they want it. And I have sold all that I've had in the past. So Maytag dishwashers, we got a slug of those in the other day. So I'm pretty well represented, black, white, and stainless, MDB 4949s. I have uh, some more coming in today too. I think some stainless ones, they've been a little more challenging to get a hold of. I got some strays over here. Anybody wants a good deal on a uh, black uh, Amana dishwasher? I think that's something Keith Schindler ordered a long time ago, so it's been here a while. And uh, these are the H series Maytag dishwashers. So those are leftovers. Um, I don't know why I still have those and, and haven't moved those out when I've got the new ones. 
but I'd be happy to give somebody a break on those to get rid of them. Uh, some more Danby portable dishwashers. And then uh, we opened up an area of the building that we actually had been leasing uh, as office and uh, warehouse space. That tenant moved out some months ago and it's just been empty. Uh, so we decided to take advantage of it. So back in this room, uh, we're putting stuff that is returned from uh, from you folks that uh, was distressed on a Ross shipment and um, really wasn't acceptable uh, for whatever the reasons. Uh, and I brought them back here. So we uh, have a few pieces, not too bad. Uh, one of the dealers that we have in uh, New Hampshire comes up here and uh, picks that stuff up uh, and uh, probably makes a good buck with it. Because certainly, I, <laughs> certainly I lose a good buck with it. Uh, so I stuck all the uh, Danby microwave inventory in here. As you can see, we're pretty well represented in the microwave department. Uh, we just got in these uh, Amana OTRs. I brought those in simply because I've been waiting forever for our GE branded OTRs to come in. And uh, still no word on, on most of that stuff that we order from GE. So not a ton, but you know, at least we have a solution. And they're, they're a little more expensive. I think it's 178 is what we were getting for the GE pieces. These are 190. Um, but at least we have something to offer. So in here, these, as you can see, we're kind of office spaces. I've made this the uh, premier, excuse me, peerless premier range area. Uh, and I, I kind of like to show this stuff simply because it can easily get lost uh, in translation and what we actually store here. But I've got 30-inch gas and electric premieres. Uh, I've got 24-inch product. I've got 20-inch product, gas and electric. Uh, I think I brought in one smooth top unit simply because I uh, I had someone that actually sold one. And I said, what the heck, I might as well keep one in stock. So that's what all this stuff up here is. And uh, still a, a little bit of room, thank goodness. Of a uh, couple of portable Danby ice machines, ice makers. Two stainless, one white. Actually, one stainless is sold and going out Monday, so I'll be down to one and one. If anybody's dying to have some red pedestals, <laughs> these are a couple of red pedestals, I think, from the days when Crosley was buying from Frigidaire some front load product. Uh, I do have some front loading Whirlpool pedestals. Not quite sure why. More leftovers from Keith, I think. Uh, I'm going to bring in some of that front-loading um, Whirlpool stuff. Not a lot, uh, but a few pieces simply because I haven't had anything else to offer. And uh, then back in the day, Speed Queen made some red laundry pieces, and I still have one lousy pedestal kicking around from that. It's going to end up in the trash. So, anyway, folks, that's the Grand Tour. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, give me a call. I am going to head home for the holiday.